this video, we're going to go over some of the new functions that are part of version 2.0 for the Jupyter 80. This new software update will be out at the beginning of April. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a factory reset. And the reason why I'm going to do that is in version 2.0, you actually have a whole new sound set that's part of version 2. So if you perform a factory reset after you do your software update, that'll bring up the version 2 sounds. You can alternate between using the version 1 sounds or the version 2 sounds, and you can combine the sounds together using the Jupyter 80's internal librarian function. And when the Jupyter 80 boots up now, it gives you this new playing environment. This is called the registration play environment, and this gives you a really elegant interface into the Jupyter 80. So you have an easy way to get to eight registrations at once. You have an advanced button here and a back button here. You can switch between the registration play mode and go into normal Jupyter 80, what I would call programming mode. Or then we can simply slip very quickly into the Jupyter 80 and into now a newly integrated performance mode. Now another really exciting aspect of version 2.0 is how it broadens the Jupyter 80 sound design capabilities. And what I'm going to show you next are new additions to the Supernatural synth engine. And what's been added are new modeled low-pass filters from classic analog synthesizers. So what I have pulled up is just a basic square waveform. <laughs> And if you see here in the screen, you have the choice of low pass 1, low pass 2, 3, and 4. Low pass 2 models a classic Jupiter 8 synthesizer. Low pass 3 models a classic Moog Mini Moog synth. You can hear when I kicked in the Mini Moog model filter, you can already hear that bite that's really characteristic of the Mini Moog. Now, Low Pass Filter 4 models a classic Profit sequential circuits, Profit 5 synth. So again, this adds a whole new set of parameters to really expand the sound design capabilities of the Supernatural synthesizer within the Jupiter 80. And finally, another new aspect that's been added to the sound design capabilities of the Jupiter 80 is the effects section has been broadened. So you now have the choice of being able to change the configuration or the structure of the effects within the Jupiter 80. You can change the Jupiter 80's effects from being in parallel to serial or a combination there. So just showing you an example of that, we've got the basic structure here. With our delay, kick on our chorus. And then kick on the rest of the chain. And don't forget, we can still go back and change the shape of the sound with our new filters. So here I'll go back to the Moog filter.
And if we really want to get a nice fat bass sound, I can go to Utility, go to Partial Copy, and I can copy that oscillator now to my second oscillator. And we'll copy that over to partial number three now. Let's go to one other new feature that's also part of version 2.0. If you're a sonar user, then the Jupiter 80 gives you the function of being able to use the Jupiter 80 as an integrated controller with sonar using sonar's ACT function. And ACT stands for Active Controller Technology, and that's a function that allows you to operate sonar from an external device like the Jupiter 80. So if you activate ACT, in the Jupiter 80, and then you are using an ACT compliant plugin in Sonar, let's say something like the Zeta Synth, then the Jupiter 80 will automatically map its controls to, let's say, Zeta, so using the knobs and sliders and the other controls on the Jupiter 80, you can then control functions within the Zeta synthesizer. So if we go over to our main play screen, then the Jupiter 80 tells us that we're in ACT mode. And again, if we want to slip out of ACT mode and go back into regular play mode, very simple to do. So that's version 2.0 for the Jupiter 80. Again, version 2.0 provides you with the new registration play screen, new supernatural modeled synthesizer filters, and also new variations to the effect structure within the Jupiter 80, ACT control, and also lots and lots of cool new sounds that are available inside the Jupiter 80. Version 2.0 will be available at the beginning of April. You can download it from the Roland US website and also from the Jupiter 80 dedicated webpage.